Hey everyone, Wonderbot here and welcome to After Image. It is an absolutely gorgeous looking Metroidvania that uh, just came out today. So I figured I'd give it a shot. The residence of God, where peace has returned. The war that was promised, lost to the ages. The children of God, returning to their origins. Indeed, she is gone. Those left behind are withering, day by day, from this deafening silence. The sun and stars have yet to return to their proper paths. The rain no longer graces its children. Souls once flowing in the stream are now lost beyond. Forfeited their gifts, bestowed by God, and may be awakened no more. Only her whispers can coax the souls to return to the world. I think that might have been slightly machine translated. That was a lot of ominous portents. Cross soon once again. Ah, it was quite the effort to lay them the rest, but his soul certainly should have returned to the stream. Let's go, but look over everything once more before we head back. Like the wording is just slightly off. I know it's because this game's, uh, I believe it's a Chinese game. Um, okay. Doesn't look like it can get up there, which is a little unfortunate. Okay, because so we got a back step. And probably some kind of heal that I just triggered. Oh, well, it's fine. It looks nice. Oh, it's got a really floaty jump. It's an interesting... Interesting choice. Okay, we can hold A to jump higher. Oh, that creature in the back is... These annoyances are all throughout these woods. Hey, Re, do you remember how to use that sword? Oh, well, that's interesting. We kind of go back with a... Uh... Ow, okay, so the enemies have contact damage. That's less fun. But yeah, we, we like, use a water spell to go back. That's actually kind of neat. Is this something? It is. Pick up item. Health potion. Rude. And here's the question. Can I back up a bunch? I can, but not really. Okay, so it looks like I can actually stunlock the crab from a distance so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, and I can't get through that. I was wondering why the bird wasn't also trying to murder me. Alright, that chest properly opened. Well, luckily Crab cannot figure out how to ascend. Jump through platforms. I mean, that was obvious. Slightly hover in air by... Yeah, so I can. I should probably check what's down there, but that's fine. Got a talent point. Uh, let's see. Where? Oh, I see. Here we go. Oh. So, S Origin of Soul. Wisp of Vigor. So, each of these takes one point. And gets us some extra stats. Honestly, yeah, let's just gain some extra base damage. We also leveled up. So, I have no idea what that's going to do for me. 
Does that also increase my damage? Does it just give me health? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I was expecting to do a little bit more damage with that upgrade. Like, I'm not even sure if the plus two is actually a plus two. Because I thought I was doing about seven damage to each of these guys prior. But I was not paying full attention, to be honest. Damage numbers are kind of one of those where you just... You kind of get used to them. They're gratifying to see, you know, especially as number get bigger. But on the flip side... I don't know. At this point, they're, they're no different from special effects for me. Just kind of this... This... I guess it's like a hallmark to say like, yeah, you're stronger, you do more damage. And I'm not actually looking looking at damage numbers as though they actually mean anything. I should, but I don't know. It's just easy to get disconnected from some of this stuff. Oops, there we go. A refined health potion. Oh, I might as well just break it. Okay, so we can quick slot them. I think I'm going to avoid that, though. So what was this button? Nope, still can't do anything about it. Well, everything is very beautifully an uh, beautifully illustrated. Leaf. Maybe extra health, maybe extra mana. Not sure. I don't know. I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. Unfortunately, the environment does have kind of a certain flat quality to it, uh, that... Honestly, this isn't a big deal. I mean, clearly not. I've had this with some other, uh, Metroidvanias, too. Thy remnants shall be kept as prism bones. May our paths soon cross again. The job is done here! Now if we will return to the village and take a well-deserved nap! That sound, it's coming from that way. Well, for starters, we're going to go the other way. Wanderers, we must have missed a few corpses after all. Be careful, I'll help too. You got to be careful. When I back step. At least this guy has a very basic pattern. And it looks like my back step actually really does get me out of danger really fast. I'm used to having to animation capsule. Oops. I pressed up on the D-pad instead of up on the control stick and used a health potion. Not that it matters too much. I'm sure we'll get plenty of health potions. I will admit, I, I've i really liked this trend ha, with this. Lush Wolf. Ow. Okay, it's doing the dash. Nope. At least it dies really fast. There we go. This aura, it's familiar. Ah, it's the aura belonging to Goliath Scion. Engarden raised. How did they end up here? How is it possible? This is. I don't think this wolf is lush anymore, and I'm dead. <laughs> Fair enough. At least it didn't waste any time with an invincible boss fight. Madam, I want to be sure of who I was. Renee, you were always the special one, granted with the gift of the gods. A gift without equal. What gift? A gift that would allow you both to survive this broken world. <laughs> you would have loved the way we live now. Only memories are perennial. This is... the confluence of stream at the village? We were definitely dead then. 
Why were we not sent to the Sea of Souls? And we didn't return from the well. Is this... the gift that Eros mentioned? It seems that my power allows me to return from the confluence. Wow! A marvelous gift it is, then! Why don't we give it another try, Ri? It should be impossible for such dangerous monsters to appear near the village. We must make haste and inform Madam at once. I think what's happening with the translation, not that it's necessarily bad, but they have a number of, like, specific game-specific terms, like con confluence of stream or something like that, that probably translates better in Chinese. So while the whole thing is written well, uh, there's a couple of these interjected phrases and terms that don't blend as smoothly because they didn't, those didn't translate well, comparatively. Diora is curious. And the stranger has created a glamour that conceals her body. She seems no threat, though. Like, it, it makes sense. But it's not quite right. I, it's not really that big of a deal. It's just translation is always one of those that's a little hard to work with. I'm surprised they would have gone through all of this effort. Uh, getting voice actors to voice act this game. Um, without having uh, a couple of people, like, proofread through the script. Just to make sure it would read well. I mean, it's fine. It's just something you notice. Another ode. And the toughest yet. Hmm. The memory shard is... resonating. A resonant? Seems that you cannot count yourself among them yet. Them? Of whom do you speak? Faded, has it? Then you would do well to stay away from those who dress like you. It's perplexing. I felt a familiar feeling in her. A voice sounds in my head, but it isn't clear to me. That's impossible! She can use the soul crystallization spell? And Garden raised! What was she babbling on about? Uh, we don't have time for this! We need to hurry back! There's also some level of, like, extreme anime vagueness. You know, uh, a faded one, soul crystallization, like a bunch of things. I, I notice this is not uncommon in anime where they just present some kind of unusual fantasy concept as though it's normal. Which, that alone is fine. It's the fact that it's, uh, it's done to this degree is starting to become kind of confusing. Because it feels like I'm being dumb, uh, like having too many anime terms thrown at me. And it's very h hard to feel grounded in a lot of conversations because the characters are just like, Mad fantasy mumbo jumbo, fantasy fantasy mumbo jumbo. Whoop. Oh, cool. Her gut stuck. Okay, nothing over here. You know what? It almost kind of, from my perspective, it almost seems like I'm um, listening to a Lewis Carroll poem. You know, "Twas brilliant in the slithy tomes or toves, or whatever it is. It's been a while since I've memorized the Jabberwocky poem, so I'm missing a lot of it. But there was just a lot of like made-up junk as part of that tome. Uh, part of that tome. Uh, part of that poem. And like, you listen to it and you think, like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what the hell, uh, you know, Brillick and Slithy Toves is, or what a Momrath is, and what Outgrabe even means. But the way it's presented, it almost sounds sensible, as though it's, like, totally normal for all of these things to be the way they are. And as part of that, you kind of build... Oh, did a, uh, did one of those, like, little fly, fly creatures chuck itself into the spikes and die? I leveled up randomly, and it was confusing. But so that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this writing. And maybe it's it's even one of those that'll make sense eventually. Oh, right, I'm supposed to jump it. But let's not do it when there's an enemy nearby. There we go. Come back. Luckily, they can't really handle platforming. 
And so they just get stuck for a while. Make sad noises. Unfortunately, they're like death cries as I'm just beating the tar out of them. Okay, good. We do have a map. Uh, their cry cries as I beat the tar out of them are kind of loud because it's tied to the same voice slider that uh, the character voice acting is. Okay, so I think there might be a room over here. Really? Oh no, it's further down one more. I guess let's go back down. There's no reason not to. Unless it can drop down from here? The answer is no. Oh. Oh wait, I'm here? Oh. I see, my map only... My map only fills in when I find like a save spot. Or something of the sort. I guess let's go over here first. I would hate to miss things. Wooden scythe. Ooh. Different weapons. So we've got the sword. And the wooden scythe. Oh, there's a buggo there. Well, luckily I heal whenever I... Whenever I level up. That makes this a little easier. And is this... Okay, so we can quick map. So that seems to cause everybody, or every enemy to respawn. And now we have a clear vision of where I, where I am. I don't know what that icon is. Oh, you know what? That's probably where I died. And maybe where some of my resources are left behind. Or something to that extent. No! How could this have come to pass? So those fiery monsters were truly targeting our village? Madam... Ifri, can you locate Madam? Pharaoh's aura was not near here. Let's enter the village proper. Madam must have set the protection circle somewhere. This echo left by Chief Carmel. Always reminds me of those ambitious, ambitious and passionate days. Although he's no longer with us, there will be a way to remember him and what he did for the village, at least until this echo of him is completely dissipated. Echo found. Echoes are remaining memory fragments. Interact with echoes to gain information and clues about Engardin. You can obtain some EXP from your first interaction. Okay, now is this one? No. Yeah. Got a talent point. A near miss. If the wolf hadn't been wounded so seriously, that would have been dangerous. The spell was quite powerful. It seems that Madam has fought these monsters before. <laughs> Looks like our master mage Eros has taught it a lesson for Ifri. Quite excellent, if I do say so. This spell. Madam would never use it without good reason. Village. Everyone, please keep yourself safe. Okay, so what do we have? Do I even want to go this direction? Main weapon attack. Ooh. Well evading jump back and swing the sword forward at the same time. So it does look like we get some interesting skills by going this direction. Secret art skill or a secret art scroll. Descending Moon. Let's see, weapon attack. What does this one do? Wave the greatsword and swing it diagonally upwards. Left trigger attack. There's a bunch of different abilities here. And the problem is I'm not entirely sure which of these I want to um, go towards. Oh. Are these spells? Oh, going going down might be a uh, a spell tree, including some MP regeneration. It's not much though. And it's a little bit of extra damage, whip damage.
I put one point into just raw damage, but I'm starting to wonder if it wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go other directions. I'm also curious what main and sub weapons are, like the differences between the two. And I'm also noticing a, a bunch of bonus damage for certain weapon types. EXP gain drop rate. Move speed dash distance. So some of this up here might actually be a good idea. Contact damage reduced by 2% per. Unfortunately, a lot of these upgrades feel very meaningless to me. Um, I don't necessarily hate. Wait. Cost two to unlock, and we have to be level 50. Oh. Okay. Oh, I have five Talon points. Oh, so I find them as perks, but I also get them separately. Okay, why don't we try the magic system? Oh, I gotta be level 15 before I get any of those. Alright, never mind on that, then. I guess we'll start going up this direction, too. Guess we're gonna level fast over the course of this game. That's it. From today on, this is our new home. A village in the Rubywood Desert. For simplicity, call it Rubywood Village. Not really getting much of a desert vibe from this place. I guess the architecture a little bit. But usually don't have big lush forests like this in the middle of a desert. Huh. That'd be an interesting aesthetic for a location, though. The idea of, like, sandy soil rather than lush forest soil. And then, uh, and then trees growing out of it instead of cacti. Obviously kind of meaningless, but still an interesting concept for, like, a weird location. Weird location? I don't know. One of those, like, fantasy locations that I don't actually think I've ever seen done in a video game before. Not that it matters too much, but... You see a lot of landscapes in, in various fantasy games. They've and after a certain point... Through here? Stop! W what are you doing to her? Cease casting that spell right now! Arrows were siphoned into her crystal! Do not disturb me. Leave Madam alone. If you know nothing of it, then refrain from interfering with everything you see. <laughs> Re, if we do nothing, arrows may end up like those wanderers. Yes, I know what must be done. That should be the last one. Madam. Renee, you know too. That girl never killed Arrows. She just captured her soul. I think she should still be safe for now. Nevertheless, we must make haste if we wish to catch up with her. As you say. She's headed east with Arrows, and I remember that there's a town on the way. Then we head for that town first. Someone may have seen her. But she would be left unidentifiable, wrapped in her cloak. I failed to see how she looked. Hold on. I think... Yes. Under the cloak was a glamour. I saw a strange triangular emblem on it. A triangular emblem? That must be a clue. Let's set off, then. Okay, so let's look around. Because I might want to head back. Let's go back the other direction, just for a little while. I want to see if I can get back to that creature that wrecked us. Uh, plus, it seems like there's more stuff to explore in that general direction, too. I have the hardest time spotting those little dudes. Yeah, I might as well just tread my way through some of these things. I don't know what soft meat is going to get me. Ooh. I might be able to kill the uh, spike flies in one hit now. Seems like it. Alright, so where are we? We want to go down and over. Yeah, so 
Oh wait, what? Did this did that frog just like puke out a minion? Into the spikes? That's I suppose so. Sure, why not? Oh, that didn't work. It gets slightly st stuck. Ooh. I think the scythe might have... Let's see, the scythe might have a little bit more hang time to it. Because it's a longer wind-up. Okay, do we have anything up up here? We might. Because, yeah, I, I had not gone further up this direction. Okay, let's just pop this thing a bunch. Yeah, we do level up really quickly. I gotta try that again. Okay, health potion. I don't know, maybe maybe we do actually have to worry about being conservative with our, our potion potion usage. While I'm while I'm here at the very least, I might as well take a look at this a little bit. Not that there's too much. Yeah, focus Renee. 35% completion on the map. So it looks like uh Looks like this game is actually gonna be pretty big, all told. Resting potion. Used for fast traveling to the confluence. Open the minimap, confluence. Consume a rest potion for fast travel. Wait, is it consumable? Oh. I don't know. Like, it feels like a number of these would have actually just been better as um, as permanent upgrades or semi-permanent -per semi ones. You know, instead of having that be a consumable item, uh, why not... Oops. Got a wooden blade. Looks like I need the ability to like, smash into it to go further. So in that case, oops. Wrong button, but whatever. So stars, wooden scythe. Blade attack versus sword attack. Sure. I don't know what the difference, difference eh, differences are going to be between weapons. But I might as well try, try new ones whenever they go by, just in case. So what was I going to say? Well, if the map has a 35% completion ratio. Also, oh, could I get back to where I was? If it's further below me, maybe. Because, yeah, if it's all the way down here... Yeah, I just... I want to see if I can get back to where I was at. Just because. He was not, in fact, dead. Oh. No, I cannot. It is no longer passable. There is a rock in the way. Huh. Well, I guess I'll just... go to the map. Uh, let's see. Map. There we go. And can I actually just teleport here? I, I was kind of lampooning it, but we might as well just warp back anyway, save myself a little bit of time. But yeah, I'd rather have that be something like on a cooldown, or just an actual unlockable item to be found. Oops. Wasn't trying to go up. Wait, I should probably try the sword? Kind of. Is there something further down here? Yes. There is. There's a little jerk. At least it doesn't do too much damage to me, so... It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, do we have anything else? No. But I find consumable items in Metroidvanias to be kind of unsatisfying. Nope. I'm gonna have to go up and around. They're not necessarily bad, but it's one of those that... When you find an upgrade or an item or anything like... Or whenever you find a chest or like a new thing in a Metroidvania, there's kind of the excitement of... Oh, what is this? You know, what what kind of new cool power-up did I just obtain? Is it a damage up? Is it missile capacity? Is it some more maximum health? Is it a new weapon entirely? Is it some kind of utility item that, you know, I hadn't, uh, or that would, like, open doors for me that I'd specifically been needing this entire time? And when you find a consumable instead, especially one that is not easily regained 
you know, maybe I guess I can buy it in the shop or something like that. Uh, or if you can't, if you can buy it in a shop, then it feels meaningless. Just give me currency and let me buy what I want, as opposed to giving me an item that I might never use. Or conversely, if it is, if you can't, if you can't get more, then it almost feels worse, because then you feel like, okay, I have to save this. Because what if we get to a boss fight at a later point that's going to be much harder than, you know, whatever the current content is? Why drink a potion when I know I can go back through an area and take no damage? Oh, got to like slide through or crawl. And I can't do that. Oh, this place looks scuffed. Nice visual with a silhouette, though. Rubywood Desert, they say. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't think I've seen a ounce of desert the entire way through here. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get to that item. Maybe I can. Maybe if I jump from here. Yeah, because there seems to be kind of a minimum jump height. Nah. Like, maybe could get it. Maybe I could get it with the scythe. But even then, I kind of predict it's just going to be another health potion. So it's hard to care. Ow. Tough little bugger. I'm not big on the contact damage either. Wow. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous area. Just, uh... Also, a bit of a difficulty boost. It's fine. Critters are cute, though. I'm actually getting some, like, very heavy Muramasa the Demon Blade vibes, which probably means I just need to play Muramasa again so I can accurately compare games. Because actually, I ended up... Ooh, whip. Uh, I ended up actually picking that game up at a used game store a little while ago. So Whip Attack. Leather Whip, once a bold fellow who followed the example of others and went... To ask the craftsman to make a wooden whip with a piece of good wood. What does that even mean? Okay, so the whip's pretty good. Dang. Dang. That whip is, uh, real good. Oh, I can't get through. We need to have the, uh... Oh, and I can no longer... I can no longer get through. I have to go through this. Oh, it makes sense. Also, these are like weird grape rabbit dinosaurs. Confusing. Get another one of those. Yeah, why is the whip so freaking good? Okay, how, would, how did I do the... Huh. See such a massive creature around here. I can't smell the Goliath the Pyrozora, even though it's engulfed in flames. It is a phoenix, I guess. Sorry, I'm just kind of slightly lost it lost in thought just looking at this. Like the environments are beautiful. In the wilds than around the village. Let's deal with them too, so others don't get hurt. Why is the whip so dang good? Was it tell telling me probably just duck to dodge? Hello, fool. Doesn't matter, I can whip it good. Okay. It does look like it kills my momentum, though. Yeah, so I can't use the whip to cross gaps. I have to keep the scythe around for that reason. Not that I was really expecting to do more. Now, here's a question. I'm a little disappointed. I don't care that much, but I'll have to keep that in mind. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to use it to uh, break open one of my doors. Because uh, that'd, that'd be nice. 
Cheesy. Oh. I cannot duck under his sword swings. Well, I ducked under one, which is confusing. I also wonder if the whip specifically returns... Oh, attack with proper timing to deflect ranged attacks. So it's not just a whip thing, it's an all, all melee weapon thing. Fair enough. Yeah, so I really just have to hit the ranged attack. And it gets deflected. Nice part is the whip's got some hella range to it, so I can just sit here whipping away all day long. Sound effect's kind of loud, though. Like, actually too loud. Let me, let me go into the settings. I even turned it down. It's like it... 50% and it's still as loud as talking. Actually, oh. We also just have a heal glyph. Wait, so we have a healing potion that does recover, but then, um, a kind of Estus shot that doesn't. Or, sorry, we have a, uh, Estus flask that recovers, but then also consumables that don't. Honestly, I think that's actually a better way of doing it. Oh, I was actually hoping that would change my aesthetic. Not that it really matters too much, but I'm one of the, I'm one of those people that like really really likes it when a um like a piece of weapon like a weapon or an armor is actually visible on my character model. Oh no. It would help if I'm... Okay. Oh, there's also an eye beast there. Huh. This is really silly. At least we leveled up, so it doesn't really matter. Prison powder. I was hoping to get up to level 15. I wanted to use some spells here. But it looks like that's not going to happen. Alright, whatever. Uh, so, I think at this point, this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for, for now. We haven't really fought a real first boss of any kind, but we've explored a fair bit and seen a decent amount of this game. Oh, hey, you know how I was saying we haven't fought a boss yet? I was premature. Okay. I want to see if I could reflect that at him. Unfortunately, I think I'm probably going to die. I guess we have a health potion. So I might as well use it. Nope. damage. Okay, let's potion up. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill him. Unfortunately, without a proper dodge roll, I'm kind of out of luck here. So I mostly just have to power through. Emblem of the Windwalker. Oh. Dash on the ground or in midair. Oh, see, that's exactly what I needed for that boss fight. <laughs> but now we've got a proper air dash. The badge is amazing. I can feel a mighty power when holding it. Inject energy into it and you can actually drive its power to move fast across the ground. That would make the task of patrolling much easier. Now I can get all sorts of places. And kill grape beasts. I 
I'm still not sure how I was doing that, like, AoE whip around myself. There's something that showed up, like, the first couple times I used the whip and then it was just gone. Unless I'm woefully misinterpreting how it works. Which is entirely possible. There we go. I know I can cheese the beast. So, anyway, After Image is, ev uh, is available on Steam and maybe consoles? I'm not actually sure. Uh, this is one of those few games that wasn't sent my way. I just picked it up because it looked neat and I'm a huge Metroidvania. A uh, huge sucker for Metroidvanias. Like, this genre is just one of those that I can never get enough of. Uh, and I love trying all the different alternatives because... They always have something different different to bring to the table. Even if it's just a variation on something I've done before. Uh, but I don't mind because in a lot of cases it's because... You know, even if it's something I've done before, none of the games are tremendously long. And so there's kind of that nice feeling of like, yeah, I've, I've been here, I've done this before. But it's just different enough that I'm not sick of it yet. And even beyond that, Oh, I see. It just wants me to go this direction. Rainbow Plains, a place where you want to settle down. Indeed, there are plenty of wanderers here, but after the raising, how many places can you find such a beautiful... such... Uh, find to have such beautiful and peaceful views? I'm like, I'll give it credit. This game is uh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we actually want to go this direction. Unless I can't get back up. Nope, I think I'm good. I just want to reveal my map and then get back down to that one item from that one shortcut that I left behind. Plus, I might be able to do a little bit more backtracking. Maybe? I'm actually not convinced on that. Yeah, so we've seen 50% of Ruby Wood and only 20% of this. The shortcut I'm in question that I'm looking for is probably right here. Oops. Oh, did all of the enemies respawn? Of course they did. But that's fine. I mean, more EXP for me, right? literally called a grapling. I didn't know what to expect, but I'm not surprised. Okay, so the thing I'm looking for is, like, directly above me. I just get got thrown off by all of these suckers. Oh, that was it. Oh, that sucks. At least my... My... Uh... My dodging will be easier. Because I'm so used to holding the direction that I want to dodge in. And so back steps always throw me off a little bit. Because I hold in the direction I'm trying to back step towards. But that is, of course, uh, pointing... Uh, making it so I'm facing in the direction that I want to go. And am therefore instead... Um, backstepping into an enemy. And that's always a bit of a whoops moment when that happens. No, I'm not entirely sure if I can get up to that shortcut. Yeah, I might not actually be able to. Or maybe I can. I don't know, I'm just going to beat my way through here. But I should probably stop. So, After Image is available on, at the very least, Steam, and I think it's going to I think it's on consoles as well. And it's a fairly decent Metroidvania. I've got a couple of complaints, mostly owing to how it handles contact damage, as contact damage is my least favorite mechanic. Like, almost bar none, in fact. I've got an eventual video essay where I talk talk at length as to why contact damage bothers me. Mostly the answer is... It doesn't make any sense. Like, I guess her character is kind of a flimsy child. But on the flip side, like... These are kind of undead armor things. Like, I guess they would be a little little tougher than your common rabble and maybe running into them would hurt. But not to the point where you would take that much damage. Oh, that currency. No, I'm going to go for it. Because I know I can get back at the very least. Anyway, so if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, good. That item's still there. I was worried about that for a second. No, the money. Whatever, it's fine.